what's going on guys i hope you're all well you're probably wondering why i'm doing my little video from my bed today and that is because i have run a half marathon and i run a 5k It was Hackney Festival this weekend, or the weekend just gone. So it's now called Hackney Moves, and we've waited a long, long time for this festival. The last time it happened was 2019, and you know, unfortunately, last year it had to be postponed due to COVID. So we were really, really excited that it was on this year. Very last minute, but man, the vibes were unmatchable. Like, Back in 2019, it was amazing. And, you know, the whole vibe was great then, but I didn't think you could really top it. Like this weekend was crazy, man. It was unbelievable. From the race organizers, uh, making sure everything was all good, course was good. Um, the events and all the stalls that are out there, the little members area that Nike put on. So having the app, you know, being a long customer for many, many years, I got access to a member zone where you could get your haircut, t-shirts customized, get some cool post-run snacks, um, recovery so you can get some massages, you can use the foam rollers, etc. And you can actually get your nails done. So I did it for the culture. Got a cheeky, got a cheeky swoosh there. Yeah, I don't know how the kids are gonna <laughs> gonna take that when I get back to work, but we move. So if you're tuning in for the first time, Hackney was one of my events that I really wanted to go for and I put my name forward to be a pacer because I felt so much community spirit back in 2019 when I was volunteering for the 5k that I said, you know what, I would love to do the half marathon one day. So I signed up. It was a strenuous process because they kept changing the pacing companies. But I said, let me just stick it out and, you know, it'll be worth it in the end. So I've got my two race bibs. So I did my 5k and I did my half marathon and you know the Saturday was all about the 5k and I brought along with the few moves gang there was so many of us I'll put a picture in here so you can see it um and that was amazing you know so for my 5k I just thought I'd start off nice and quickly and then settle in just to wake my legs up a little bit and get ready for my half marathon which would have been the day after. So run about 18, 20 something, which was pretty good. Haven't received my official time yet, but I will take that. Um, going into my half marathon, I know I had a job to do, which was to run one hour 35. So regardless of how I felt or what I was feeling, I knew I, had a, I, knew I needed to get it done. Waking up on Sunday, my body was fine, my body was all right. I just felt a bit tired and a bit dehydrated, so I should have probably hydrated beforehand. But, you know, we move, we move, we go forward, and we just, we have to deal with the cards that we're dealt. So, got warmed up, which is pretty good. Got suited and booted as a pacer. T-shirts are amazing, to be honest. Yeah, got settled in, in my pace, which was pretty good. 5K in, I was nice. Got about halfway and my knee started flaring as expected. So I was quite uncomfortable, but then I relied on the community vibes, which were, you know, unbelievable. And it just got me through it. it made me focus on why I was actually, you know, doing Hackney Half, because it wasn't for myself. It wasn't for any sort of intrinsic or ex extrinsic benefit to myself. It was just more community-based and what I want to give back to the people that helped me create such an amazing experience a few years prior to, to COVID. But I got it, got there, and yeah, man, I managed to cross the line in one hour 34 and change, um, which was amazing. You know, the, the runners really appreciated my help and I really appreciated their help. It's always a two-way path with that. Um, and I had just an amazing afternoon, you know. Uh, my body's a bit battered, still a bit battered, but what can I say? It was well worth it. What a great weekend I've had. As you guys have been following me for a while, you'd know that I was a bit disheartened when I was training for the Vitality Big Half and also Hackney when it kept getting pushed back and pushed back. But we've done it. We've actually done it. So 
I don't really know what's next in the cards for me, but I'm just looking forward to just going with it and creating some cool content in the winter for you guys. So before I go, I just want to show you guys some blingage that I got this weekend. So yes, 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 here are my babies, my two little babies. We've got one for the 5K. Jeez, look at that. And we've got one for the half marathon. There we go. I was going to go ahead and put my timings in these little, these nice little pockets at the back, which I think would look quite cool. Um, definitely going to put these in my sort of dream capsule, which I've got here. That I like to keep track of all my races that I've done for community and, and stuff like that, which is really cool to look back at. Um, so yeah, 134.17 unofficially, but I'll take that, man. Um, yeah, let me know if you took part. Let me know if you'd want to do a half marathon or even a 5k. I want to see if we can sort something out in my community. So yes, guys, that's all for me in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure you check out all the photos and all the content on my Instagram and social media, which I'll put in the description below. And I hope to see you next video. Peace and love. Yes.